And joining us now is Oksana Makarova, uh, Ukraine's ambassador to the United States. Thank you very much, Ambassador, for being with us. I know you saw President Zelensky today at the United Nations, basically telling the UN uh, what is your, the, your purpose. Uh, you were created in San Francisco to have peace and security. And if Russia has a veto, uh, you have to either kick Russia out of the Security Council or change the rules or create a new, a new world's order to provide security. Do, do I have that right? Thank you very much, Andrea, and thank you for all your brave correspondents in Kyiv, in Bucha, in all the places. Uh, it's, 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 it's a brave and very honorable work to show the truth right now. You got it absolutely right. This is what uh, my president said today in his historic speech to UN. Because as you said, what we saw in Bucha, it's not a rogue unit. It's a rogue country. Russia is acting as a rogue country, doing it everywhere in Ukraine. So the question is, we're very grateful for all 141 countries in the UN that condemned Russia at the beginning of the war. Everyone see what's going on. Everyone see what Russia is doing. And everyone see that it's a threat, not threat only to Ukraine, but threat for democracy, threat for peace, threat for food security, threat for globally for the world. And the question is, what are we able to do as the UN, what are we able to do uh, in, in this situation? And if we don't, then it's time to reform. And this has been said clearly by my president. I want to ask you about the sanctions, because uh, Tony Blinken is flying here right now. They're announcing new sanctions today by the US, by the EU, uh, banning the import of coal, for instance. But they are not banning oil and gas. And you've got India and China still buying, you know, Ch Russian oil and natural gas and uh, making up what Europe isn't buying. And you've got Saudi Arabia and the UAE cooperating with Russia in OPEC. So what do you see the purpose of sanctions? Is it going to stop Putin? Well, sanctions uh, are both a measure to stop Putin, but also a punishment for what Russian Federation is doing. And I think, you know, we will get to the point when everyone will introduce all sanctions. The question is, we have to realize that situation is black and white, and the choices between values and principles and some loss of money. And I want to show you the U.S. here as a great example, because the, the, the embargo on oil and gas and all the energy resources was not easy for the U.S. either. But American people clearly said that they are about values and principles. So I don't think, you know, at this point, uh, you know, the discussion should be what is the timeline of rolling out the sanctions. But we essentially have to all come together as civilized countries and answer the questions. Are we ready to walk the walk? Are we ready to implement all the sanctions? How many people have to die for all Russian banks to be sanctioned? Out of 330, only, you know, less than 10 are under full blocking sanctions or disconnected from SWIFT or were added in the, into the SWIFT package by the European Union. So our, you know, position and our ask and uh, to, to, to all of our friends and allies, give us all the weapons so we can stop this pure evil while it's still only in Ukraine, but also provide all the sanctions do not finance this war machine that kills people, rapes, uh, torture, kill, you know, innocent civilians, as we see everywhere. One of the streets you were showing uh, on your TV today is the street I used on a daily basis to take my kids to school in Bucha. It's, 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 it's unbelievable, and I think the world has to respond. Because if we do not respond to this, this Bucha's... Uh, will happen everywhere, not only in Ukraine, but elsewhere. Russia has to be stopped. Let me ask you about any kind of negotiations for a ceasefire, for a peace deal. Uh, given what's happened in Bucha, and you know, we don't know what's happening in Mariupol and elsewhere, as you, as you point out, how can you agree to anything with Vladimir Putin? How can you trust any kind of agreement. I know you've called, the Zelensky has called for guarantors from other countries, but 
My reporting is that other countries are very reluctant to be the guarantors of any kind of agreement, uh, which might involve, you know, boots on the ground. Thank you. Russia attacked us in 2014 and illegally annexed Crimea and part of Lugansk and Donetsk in 2014 and 15. And even though we had all the legal rights to retake them, we never planned any military offensives, and we were ready and always pushed for diplomatic solution and for negotiations. When Russia attacked and invaded us now, and of course, you know, we unfortunately know that everything that happens in Mariupol and Kharkiv and Chernihiv is horrible. We see it, and we all will be will be witnessing, and, and will take everyone accountable. But every war has to end, and uh, as we said from the beginning, even though this is the pure evil, but we are ready to negotiate. Now, negotiating does not mean we are ready to surrender. Negotiating does not mean we are ready to give up on what are our red lines, our territorial integrity, our sovereignty. And yes, we are looking for great assistance from all of our friends and allies to actually help us to do so, help us to fight, and also help us to, to get into uh, a, a, a fair peace for Ukraine and to, to get guarantees, which would be very different from assurances that we have received in 1994 when Ukraine, as the only country that voluntarily got rid of the third largest nuclear arsenal that we used to have after the collapse of the Soviet Union in, 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 in exchange of these assurances. So it's all interrelated and, you know. What about getting the, the switchblade drones? What about, you know, getting tanks, better anti-tank weapons, better anti-aircraft -air weapons? Are you beginning to see the, the weapons that the U.S. says they're delivering? Well, look, this is, you know, we, we, we need all the weapons. And we're very grateful to the U.S. for everything the U.S. has been providing us to date. But the time right now for all of our partners and the United States to provide us with everything. I mean, I think it's clear that, A, we can win. And Ukrainians have shown during the 41 days that not only Russia Blitzkrieg didn't happen, but that we are very capable, very motivated, we are defending our homes. So we will win this. And we would like all of our friends and allies to help us to win it faster so that we will have less Buchas, less Mariupols, less Chernigivs, so that we can quickly or quicker uh, liberate our homes and towns and our Ukrainians who are suffering right now immensely under the occupation of these brutal war criminals that are on our sovereign territory today killing our children. So all the weapons and, and our friends and allies know what we need and we're in very detailed and direct discussions with them. Do you think that Vladimir Putin will ever stand trial for war crimes? Well, I think this is a very important question for all of us globally. If you can do what Russians did in Ukraine and not be held accountable for it, then the whole international rule of law does not work. That's why Ukraine has triggered all the in mechanisms and instruments. That's why we have all the criminal charges and criminal cases opened by our general prosecutor in Ukraine. That's why we are grateful for other 10 countries that already opened their national uh, in investigations. We believe that everyone, from President Putin, to everyone around him, to every person that is responsible for either this deed on the ground or supported it in Russia or kept silent. All of them, like in the Nuremberg Tribunal, will be brought to justice. We are positive that it will be done. You cannot in the 21st century to see all of it, to record all of it, to have witness statements and video proofs of everything and just let it go.